before and after. Hey guys, so we have watched Luke again in this tutorial. As you can see, his style is super dramatic. So there's like lots of black, lots of shadows, lots of blues. I'd say cyan's is the main color he uses and then really brings out the oranges and yellows. So we are working with this shot right here. And the interesting thing about this shot is that it was actually taken on a phone. Pretty crazy. We have the original and we're gonna be recreating his edit. His style also relies a lot on filters to create dramatic lighting and we've done one other tutorial on him before or a few actually we can click here and you can come over and check out his presets i will be using one of his presets for this tutorial his curves play a big role in the colors he creates so presets are very handy in that situation so they'll be really handy with the curves and then i'll be adjusting it showing you guys the adjustments you need to make to edit like him i'll be linking these down below for you guys highly recommend because you get 28 landscapes six portraits so you get lots of presets and it looks like a 30 minute tutorial video on how to use them here's the original and here's his edit over here so recreating it cropping what have we done absolutely nothing so settings up here so it was actually taken on a phone so it did have uh, raw capabilities we're a little overexposed but i don't think that's a bad thing to not too much going on in the settings up here so exposure down a bit because we obviously need this dark look and pretty quickly i'll show you the curves so turning them on a little smoothness here um and then we've got the curves from his presets here they do quite a bit to color as well like there's more cyans throughout pretty much the entire image and they add a bit of contrast and then in this curve we just got like really slight adjustments to the fade to the blacks only a little adjustment there so those curves are largely from the preset i used okay so just fixing up the colors now i'm getting a bit of warmth gonna come down to split toning so in the shadows i want blue and in the highlights i want like a rich orange i want to help these oranges come out so next i'll come to hsl because this will help us out a lot so yellows more of an orange then see what the greens no not many greens in here but we need to really make these yellows and oranges stand out so saturation up a lot not many greens but i think we can take them down as tiny bit back there like tiny bit bring them down not many purples they can stay about there okay we are largely there i'm gonna jump to some filters because we obviously need to shape the lighting for a few things so down the bottom here start with this one let's darken it down the contrast so it's a bit softer okay back up top here let's just more contrast and then like he's got a really shadowy look to his image so it's just drop smooth out those whites a bit and highlights and then back into filters and stuff so i think we just like could be a little overexposed here so let's just soften that really harsh light there and then this is probably the main one where we're going to be brushing on the subjects of the image and we're just gonna boost up the exposure down as for sharpening a bit there but we'll up the masking now what we also want to do is like it's already done but watch what noise reduction does i'm going to bring that up quite a bit because phone images look really digital bringing up the d noise can really smooth out your image and make it look a lot nicer just a bit more veneting here and some grain make it rough er. back up top um, i'm going to bring down the clarity and maybe a bit of texture as well just to smooth it out again because it's a, a phone it, it just looks really digital so doing these these adjustments can help make it look not like a phone like vibrance down just a touch saturation now just with luminant you can notice it's quite flat up here where the yellows are so i'm just going to drop drop the yellows and the oranges kind of gives deeper tones and maybe overall that cinematic look touch of a shine to the blues you can see what that does aquas maybe not the aquas though and then up here we want more teals check if there's any purples let's make the aquas this way i'm 
I'm gonna make the purples more blue because I can see a tiny bit back there. And what I haven't showed you is the healing brush here. So if I go healing brushes, reset, this is before. So we just took out a few distractions up top there. Makes the image a little cleaner. So reset and after. If we just look at the curve, so you can see that they play a pretty big role in the color as well, adding in the blues. I mean, shadows a little bit, but since this was a phone image, I think clarity and texture play a bit of a role here, just so it's not super crispy and digital. Split toning, a little bit there, and otherwise there was quite a bit to do in HSL. So to get all the right hues, mainly yellows and oranges, the four, and after, four, and after so make sure you've gone through that free training if you haven't already so that will teach you color and the curves two things just people do not understand and no one is teaching so make sure you understand curves color theory once you get that down packed through that free training come check out the course um, that's where we go really in depth into the why behind our adjustments to achieve different styles and then there's heaps of guest editors in there as well we get the raw image get the preset get the lesson that way nothing is missing you can learn much 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 faster and yeah we've got over 700 people in there read all the testimonials also check out the facebook community group get community feedback got a facebook group there comment here you want to see on this channel and catch you guys later